what's up? It's Arashi. This is different for me. I usually play Valorant or Overwatch and like cute little things like Animal Crossing. But I really wanted to play through Man of Medan for you guys. I really wanted to play through this because it's a fun game. I have a lot of fun playing it. It's there's so many different possibilities. You can go for something that you really, really want and still mess it up and not get the ending that you want. Or you could think that a choice is a good idea and it's not. So I'm just going to wing it. Um, I know what a couple of the choices do, but I want to just be fresh. And so I'm just going to go on a whim. Um, I'm also going to play the curator version and not the theatrical because I've played the theatrical quite a bit and I've never played the curator so it'll still be a little bit fresh and new. So let's get started. Don't play alone. Don't play alone. No really, we have to play alone. Uh, but this is a two-player game. It's a lot of fun with two people, especially if somebody has never played. Let's see. Let's go with something new. And like I said, we're going to do Curator's Cut. So I think this is basically that you're playing what the player two would play if you played two people. So instead of taking the theatrical cuts first player path, you're taking the curator Cut's second player path. So this ought to be fun. Because I've played second player, but it's still different. So. And this game is made by the same people that made Until Dawn. They use uh, live actors. They mocap them. It, they get as close to their facial expressions and looks as they can. It's really nice. Thank you, TJ. good job with the atmosphere in this game, making it feel very spooky and very dark. <laughs> it's just everything is shadowed and you have to turn corners to see things. The It's reminiscent to me of playing Resident Evil, that just that very atmospheric scare. Because nothing about this scene is scary. They're just a couple of bros having a beer. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. But you still feel on edge. Whoa. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. These guys always cry. You know what, Young Shi. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? Quarter. I'm gonna find out my future. Heck yeah, I can fight. See, so usually you're the other guy. Uh, I suck at these. <clears throat> ah! What is happening? <clears throat> Why is it not clicking? <clears throat> Hello, mouse. What are you doing? Oh, wait. <clears throat> <laughs> I had to think about that. So this game is nice. It does have a little option. She says that every time. I swear I'm not bad. I hit that button. Have a nice day. Okay, pal. Spread some of that good fortune around. Sure. I gotta find out what's going but on. But I gotta try out Mr. Punch him up. Good luck. You, uh, you got another quarter on you? What do I look like? A bank? Okay, old timer. What do I got coming my way? I like how they use, like, actual Chinese. 
It's What's the forecast for the Odyssey back to the States? Smooth sailing? For the Odyssey? That definitely wasn't the name of the ship. <laughs> well, let's go water tile. So basically this is just kind of teaching you how to play the game. How to click the buttons. That the fact that there's time to vent. Like that. There's not a lot of like choice that impacts anything here. You still get different choices, but it's not anything that actually well, that has, is, is a bearing. A flower of some sort. Well, that's nice. Blood is sure to come. Blood? Blood? Huh? What's that huh? supposed to mean? Huh? Hey, buddy! What the hell are you talking about? Heesh. Hey, we should probably make our way back to the ship. Don't want to be the Joker's left uh, come behind. Come on, I just need one more try at this hey, sucker. Hey, gotta get back. Like now. So ominous. Armin 2! Cargo hold 2! good, right? Spooky. So like I said, I don't want to give away too much because I know what the story is. But it's just so good. bits of the game that are kind hey, of edgy and hey where's my where's my 50 cents but it's still good 50 cents what 50 cents come on man hey buzz off buddy. nobody pushes me around <laughs> it's like the worst scripted fight you're my medical opinion these men appear to be drunk off their rear ends oh my gosh Get this one to the medical board. He just punched him out. And the other in the brig. And keep <laughs> like... it. Snock his ass out. Liquid and then it just turns into a mist because it hits the water. That's an interesting chemical. And those are obviously like coffins, basically. They're like crates with dead people in them. But also. Controls are a, a little wonky. It takes Hello? a minute to get used to them again. So you can go around, you can pick up things and check them out and read them, look at them. You can flip them around. Do, 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 day one break. Small items belong to the senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. 
Trespass two days, Brig. Found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Whispering in public intoxication one day, Brig. Found drunk and acting inappropriate for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication one day, Brig. Same thing. Ten? What Ooh, a dick. Charles Anderson, ten days in the Brig. Because we were brawling, even though he punched us out. <laughs> That makes sense. Joseph Roberts. Brawling 10 days. Found drunk and properly. Yeah. Assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment because his officer punched him the fuck out. I cannot trust that enough. Like, all they did was push each other. It's whatever. And that Private Charles Anderson will leave from duty to display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Whoa! Hey! Hey! I wasn't done! Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? You're not Send supposed to do here, that! Right? <laughs> what the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I like how your face just like floats around in view. Okay, so you can go back in here and check everything out, so that's good. I mean, it's not super important, but everything you pick up has, like, a little secret tracker. As TJ just pointed out, later you do find out that there is a, a strict no pol uh, alcohol policy. Can't speak. I haven't been drinking much. So there is a little glitch in this game where, like, your other person will just stop walking and trap you. And you can't walk. Okay, where is it? S, S. I always fail this one. your breath doing these. I did it! That one was easy. Oh wait, there's another one! I forgot! I usually fail it. It's so suspenseful, like, even though I know what's gonna happen, my heart beats up. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Like the audio in this game is so good. Not so much the voice acting, but most of that is okay. I just wait, like. Oh. Uh, what the hell? Oh, these wonky controls. I should have gone back to sick bay and showed you all that, but like you start off there, so well in the theatrical when you start off there, so really you're gonna see it if you play through that first just kind of stands over there like can't open that there's nothing else around I don't know why he stands there it's like what are you looking at go, go. click it okay Four controls. hey Joe help Yeah, you click that. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Foo bar and that song. Yay, dead bodies. Is that what we were shooting earlier? Yeah, lovely. It's just like right in your face the whole time. Oh, you can walk Christ. faster. Another I body. Forgot. I mean, it doesn't really feel that much shit. faster. Buckley. Last time I saw him, he was fine. I mean, he was even jonesing for extra security detail. <laughs> I wouldn't At least be. it's not one of us. Yeah, about that. Oh, 
They did do a really good job with the mocap on this, though. Just like... The different poses they take, walks. Yeah, I figured that out. Thank you, Gabe. What was down here? I don't think there was anything down here. No, there wasn't. This is a locked door. Okay, which makes total sense. I mean, I just put locked doors in here for no reason. So, uh, is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? No! You know, like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings. <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah, fine. Yes. I think Great. a little bit of the audio yeah. is different playing the curators. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Are you feeling all right, Joe? Still a little drunk there? Maybe having some hallucinations? Joe, get over here. A knife in a gunfight. I'ma win it, Ma! It's that suspense. I love it. I usually don't do well on scary games. I really, really don't. And like, my first time playing this, I just like, screamed and hollered and it was fantastic. And it's not even that bad. His eyes almost popping out. Good lord. Not that you get to. It's a creepy hat. So scary. Um, I'm gonna wait that one out. Okay, that's freaky. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I really need to take that give me <laughs> Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? I actually really like this song. Everybody's kind of like, why is this here? I like it. Won't you spare me over till another that this is 
kind of like a teaser walkthrough of the next installment. Well, what is it's just pictures that aren't involved in, in this particular place. Do you see signs of like Little Hope, which is the next one coming up? And there's supposed to be eight total. You're back. Interesting. Yeah. Excuse me a moment. This is different. You've heard, I suppose, that there's been an adjustment. This it's a new. one door closes, another opens sort of thing. Yes, the story's been told, but the truth of that story isn't fixed. Far from it. You see, a story can change a great deal when told from a... Uh, different perspective. A chance to turn back the clock, walk in different shoes, make fresh choices. Perhaps take a few risks this time. Raise a little hell. This is interesting. That is definitely not the dialogue from the theatrical. So this is good. This is new and different and Hopefully there is some different stuff in the curator's cut. Hmm. Insecure, aren't we all? Bro. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? I'm gonna uh, be this person. Yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't... I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, whoa, <laughs> careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Yeah, it's not cool, bro. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Okay, so there's an achievement for doing all brain. Julia wanted you to come along. For I'm real? I'm gonna be the ass. Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted minutes. you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Damn. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Damn. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just... It's the new cold. medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. It's been like two weeks. Same. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? what? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Some things are a little different already. Hey! So, uh, 
Can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just a... Uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. Ooh, okay. About finishing med school? No, but... This is a... It's just kind of a big life choice, you know? This is a major decision in the other I don't know what's one. the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. He updating my baron without me making a choice. Hey! Interesting. I wonder what... I wonder if you're nice to him if he's more supportive. Foolhardy indeed. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. Connie. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Aww. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? Wanna crack the colon? I've never actually done this. Uh... <laughs> I hardly even knew you were gone. Yeah, as a little girl, I always dreamed that one day a man would sweep me off my feet and tell me he hardly even knew I was gone. <laughs> okay, I roll. So, first dive, you and me? All uh, brain options. If you can keep up this time. I get a better view when I'm behind. Uh-huh. That's... Warmer back there, too, huh? So <laughs> gross. <laughs> what did I just watch? <laughs> what did I just watch? That was gross. <laughs> <You're> cringy. <laughs> wow. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I thought Conrad had the cringy lines. That was bad. Impatient. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Uh, what? Oh. There goes his beer. <laughs> I'm not over that line. Oh my god. <laughs> Up, uh, and he was drinking. You see, we didn't have that uh, option this get time. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. I feel like I've had less options. Yeah. Oh boy. On this run through. Let's see those hot pics. Nobody wants to see your pictures, man. What about over here? I'm kidding. It's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck they're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. It's like, nothing's changing! I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad, it's the same know? pictures! There's a wreck here. It's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just I swear to God, I'm, I'm tapping thing. different directions. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julie with the camera. Oh, there we go. Got something. What you got? I really think that's just a filler space. Because no matter what, I never your got eyes to on this. Pictures. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities. As an unreported wreck? Well, yeah, technically. Respect bad. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? Brain. Guys, look, I think we gotta listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, oh, no. and beautiful captain here. Oh, if she no. says we should do things Connie, the right way. Please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? Wow. <laughs> no, no, I'm no. glad not, I chose the brain I, I, option. I'm just saying she's right, not because she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful, but that's like a coincidence. She's the captain. 
Look, Connie still has we paid for this dive generously. We're diving. You're the client. But if anything goes wrong, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched. That was different. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. So weird. Okay, we don't want to look at that camera yet. We want to go mess around. Let's see if we can talk to Fliss. Turn it off. <laughs> Please do not fondle machinery you are not equipped to understand. Damn. You might want to just let it do its thing. I thought I could talk to her, like, directly. There we go. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Lame. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. At least you showed me a little respect. Even if you're the only one in the group. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to. D mm. Yeah. Hey, There's I like it option. when you're strict. And sometimes I just want to be kept in line. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind a little submission now and then. Is there no way for you Cringe. to turn that off? Turn one off. That thing where you have to hit on me like every two seconds. God, I don't want to pick the brain option because this was so hilarious. Okay. I'm just trying to liven things up a little. What the hell else is there to do around here? Oh, <laughs> I can think of plenty of things. Coil the ropes, scrape some barnacles. I'm good. Totally good. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Okay. Oh, okay. I got experience. In all the right places, if you catch me. Yeah, yep. I caught it. And I tossed it back. And where might that experience lie? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Huh? That For was all new. you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Why am I even talking to you about this dive? Clearly, you have other things on your mind. Always. Yep. Oh, don't be fooled. All I'm thinking about is getting wet. Okay. Because, you know, when I get that dive suit on, it's going to get hot in there, sweaty. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, sense. I think you need to work on your material. Go take a stroll. Come up with some better jokes. I love talking to Flosses Conrad. It's so great. Uh, this is where we check this out. And find out that she's not quite old. I think this might be bogus. Just a bit. Just a bit. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so this is important. These are important. Well, hello. What's this? I think we've already messed that one up. So these are premonitions. Basically, you look at the pictures, they tell you, or they show you something that could happen if you make the right choices. Or if you make the wrong choices. Or, you know, who's to say they're wrong or right? What do you want to have happen? Open the door. Can't open the door. Ha. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to get that. There is something that I want to do back here. Hello, locker. What you got inside of you? Conrad is definitely the troublemaker. What's this now? Fancy. Get on you, Alex. Click. Okay. This, everybody Dude, thinks is kind of like... ready when you are. Uh... Kind of a foreshadowing. You must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. So their next installment is um, Little Hope. 
and it's apparently the name of a town. And all of these are based on, like, urban legends. So, someplace out there with little hope. Which, I believe somebody found, like, witch trials happened in a place called Little Hope. Or something similar. And that's what the next game's supposed to be about. Nope, nope. Wonky controls! Click. Nope, I wanted to go the other way. Are those the only two pick Okay. The chat says they're gonna make a beautiful mixed baby. Bliss and Conrad. That's if they survive. Dun dun dun! Wait, come back. Why? 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 Just go! <laughs> Wonky controls! Go. Walk. Okay. Thank you. So, this is the rebreather. <sighs> Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Is it? Because okay. it sounds like plastic. O2 check done. <laughs> whoa, 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 Eager Beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. Beaver. Beaver. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You so know much it? cringe. So much okay, cringe. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Yeah. Looking for a first mate, Captain? You need look no further. <laughs> Very funny. Cringe lines again. Love it. I just never knew that it was possible to feel such a deep connection with someone. Like, right off the bat. <laughs> Synergy. Oh you know? What is it with those guys? They've got a whole ocean waiting for them, and they're still on deck. I'll shoot them overboard. Hey, what's the holdup? Let's get diving. Damn, that was quick. OK, so normally, you flip to them. Let's see what it does to me. What does that look? What was that look? <laughs> that was awkward and weird. Good, not like how you do it. Weird. I'm a cat, it's a dead body! like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. That's a little There. Nice. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Fucking remarkable. Let's go around a little and find a way in. I just like how excited they get. <laughs> the turret. We can get in through there. Okay, so I am still playing as Julia. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's a button here. Don't cut yourself. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. I should let her do it. <laughs> uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe 
Take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? I like how they're both brave. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? <laughs> Live a little, Edge Lord. I like how the, even they make fun of the dialogue sometimes. Mm hmm. Go on in there. Stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? Oh, Chill out. Fine. I'm fine, see? No problemo. Totally fine. No issues. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a see? US base. You gotta make sure to turn things over. Text obscured, text obscured, text obscured. They were on their way to help out a ship. Dun, dun, dun. Bullet hole. Found. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's dun, see dun, what dun. else we can find. Good God. Ooh, dead body. <sighs> yes, let's touch it. <sighs> We touch everything, guys. Ugh. Ugh. Everything. He's something. We touch that too. Wow. What the hell it's happened like a here? Very grainy. Little look at things. They knew they were goners. is in here uh you hear that let's check it out wait we hear what want to go first <clears throat> not gonna let it get me <sighs> ah, cheap piece of shit that's new we didn't bring the boomstick dead body Dead body. Whoa, whoa. I didn't let it get me. Oh okay. my god. My wet, my wet suit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Gross. I never understood that line. Like, what does that even pilot mean? And co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. 
click. Like a tourist. Check it all out. Okay. I think the only thing you can do is right here. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Julia! Oh my God! Whoops! Don't touch anything else, please. My bad. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Freshening <laughs> your cabin boy. Still a no. Ew. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Cute. Ah! Oh, I said brain. I said brain. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Interesting. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're yeah. smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Beep, beep, beep. I thought we turned that off. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. We definitely turned that off. down below in case you missed anything down here but there is one thing Fliss is the only one who can open this door and there is a picture in here that you need to grab why do I keep these around <laughs> it's so random There's nothing else in here. So yeah, she can snoop around too, but she doesn't find anything different. As far as that goes. I'll just do it just because. Same book. Can't flip it over for- whoa, hello. That was- that was weird. My bad. Went off screen for a minute there. See, so yeah, you can't flip it over. Oh, hello. What's in the drawer? I don't remember the drawer. Drawers? Oh, that's right. Loan documents. <sighs> Mr. Ted Dubois. Account number, dear Mr. Wall, the suburbs full notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. Loan holds a remainder of $24,783 with a sum of $3,481 payable by 1st of August 2019. This amount has been overdue. You appear to have ignored multiple requests for payments or a discussion to reconsolidate your debt. Unless the amount outstanding amount is received by 30th of August, we will have no choice but to begin the foreclosure process against your collateral, namely the marine vessel, the Duke of Milan. A trip, hotel tours, Eddie's fishing trip, sell laptop, question mark? Call bank, cancel sell. Damn. Hard times, man. I like the music that they play. It's definitely very sea beachy feels. Let's go 
Uh, come on, wonky controls. It's right there. The shiny is right there. Come on. Why are you not walking? Hey there. How's there it going? There we go. Good lord. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no um... sense. <laughs> I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is conversational intercourse? Okay, let's... There's the dive cam. Wait, what? Hold up, wait, go back. That's new. What is that? Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Uh, I never knew that was there. Is that new? Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Back to the same pictures. Oh, there's a new one. Okay, no secrets. That's boring. It's 50 pictures. Off we go. Over this way. Hello, speedboat. Just gonna keep looking at it. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. That's How should we handle this? That's... This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Okay! Stupid is kind of bad. What do you think you're doing? Boss at him and yell at him. That makes sense. Big brain decisions. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, it my rain. bad. Let's make it 20. Make it rain! Well, Kinda shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Why are you throwing it in the water? Let's go. No! Just money. I guess they didn't need the money. You are an idiot. What? They left, didn't they? That doesn't make you any less of an idiot! You got a funny way of saying, thank you, Conrad. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work, I'm a little play, too. That's well. Are you trying to flirt with me? Is it working? I don't even know what it is. Well, when you think of something, I'll just be over here taking in the view, flirting up a storm, hashtag wink. Ugh, cringe. Okay, I think they're so on their bad. way back up. And I was getting used to it just being you and me. We need to light the grill. Oh, oh, pick me. Pick me. You can call me Grill Capitan. You may light the grill, but I will never call you that. <laughs> I've actually never seen this part. Oh, fuck! <sighs> I have seen that part. I don't put it out. <laughs> uh, damn, Fliss, I I'm sorry.
Damn it! This is my fault. My boat, my fault. That'd be nice. I mean, we know he's an idiot. Ooh. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, uh oh. Hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Ooh. She came up quick. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? So, why are you paying the ocean? <laughs> a fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? <laughs> what I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? That's new. Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. That's new. I'm liking this curator one. Like, it's, it's different. Adjustments indeed, sir. Hello, Creeper. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother, Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. He might. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Definitely. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Mm-hmm. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Do you? That's weird. Let me reassure <laughs> you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Okay, he usually says that when you fuck up with Julia. And I didn't get to make that decision this time, which is really interesting. So I wonder... How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Jesus. It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, wow. Sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Ooh, what's this? Oh, camera. I don't want to do the camera. The camera's boring. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. That's... Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor uh, Mopington over here. What? Julia. This is the strangest line. Happy. Oh, wait, I want to listen to this. I mean, yeah, kind of. I think so. You think so? Think or so. you know so? Is everything okay with us? I'll be honest, I've been kind of wondering about that for a while. Wow. Wow. Like, look, when we get home, we can talk about some stuff, but relax. I mean, it's not like we're breaking up. It's just some stuff we gotta deal with. Okay. Yeah. That's just the most awkward conversation to listen in on. I'm gonna go find Brad and Conrad and Fliss. Nope, you stay up there. I'm looking for the guy. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. I was busy doing some thing. So were they. Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. 
Oh yeah, the beers. Yeah. I was just those, getting them now. Those. Yep. Didn't take him long to find that. I wasn't awkward at all. <laughs> all right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What in the plane when it broke? What? Alex, holy crap. Were you guys like in the plane when it broke? Ooh, got out in the nick of time. Skin of our teeth. Well, our skin was almost in a shark's teeth. What? Uh, yeah, didn't I tell you there are sharks around here? Uh, you did no. Not. Most of them aren't dangerous. Oh, yeah, the, the friendly sharks. Most of them. How do you think the day went? Other than our little tight 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 with the locals, people. pretty good. People always say they have dive experience, but Alex and Julia seem to actually know what they're doing. So, we're going again tomorrow? Big brain, uh, man. Yeah. Seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Relax, Brad. How many times do I have to tell you not to be such a wuss? Damn. Uh. Harsh? I'm gonna go find Julia. Brad or for Brace and Lee? Brad you got a girlfriend? For Brace and Lee. What? Uh. Not my strong suit. Hey, nothing to be ashamed of. We all hit our stride eventually. Me, I popped out full sprint, dragged my mom right off the table. That's... Ew! What? Dudes make too big a deal out of getting girls. Yeah, what's the big deal about girls? I, I don't get it. Okay. Well, they're quite good in bed. I'm just saying, Cringe. let it happen naturally, don't force it. What is this dialogue? Oh, what, what about is you? this dialogue? Are you, uh, with anybody? Um, what happened before? That's not really your business, Brad. Right here. Awkward. I make fun of this dialogue, but it's really fun to listen into. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Whoa. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little wow. nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm wow. telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. Oh, shit. Oh, ho, 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 shit. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse so me? Angry. I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? You Americans. No respect for anyone else's traditions. None. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. 
Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? <laughs> Damn straight. Let's tell us something fun. <laughs> yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Scare here goes. Away. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. <laughs> the lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Wow. <laughs> the woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Right. Okay, fine. Then, it was a meat hook. They were slashed <laughs> with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay. So, who did it? Ooh, provocative. Let's be provocative. The woman says, it was my brother. And she turns to the closet and says, he's hiding in there. Ah, oh, great. Blame the brother. Okay. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. I think he told it better last time. But good effort. When did he tell him? Okay, before? you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Mm -hmm. Lightning. Lightning and the thunder. Alright, so I'm really interested to see how this plays out because I didn't have a lot of of control over the choices this time. <laughs> Some things are going how I wouldn't have expected them to, and that makes it really interesting. What's up, 
dude. Watch your messed up eye. I can't understand you! What are you saying? Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Oh, great. Great. Just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. We have to get free right now. pretty much the same at the moment. Coming for you. See, look, he's wearing a Salem shirt. Like, they push that witch trial thing a lot. Ah, fuck out. <laughs> he just barely tapped him. I'll be back for you later. his ass, lady. Oh, I don't get a choice. Okay. Ah, Julia. They're beating the piss out of Conrad. <laughs> ah. <laughs> gotta get out of here. Sorry, I found that always... Like, who wants to hear that? Right then and there. That's what hilarious. Who gives a fuck? I'm gonna kill every one of them. Okay, psycho. Okay, there's no brain so choices right place? now. So that she's the captain. So what? I want to figure out if anyone knows we're out here. Oh shit! Uh, oh, uh, I wonder I if I'm it. supposed to be saying it. nothing when there's not brain choice. Ah, oh, crap. I might have messed this way through up. Yes! Yes, Whoops. Always pack a good cuticle clipper. What? <sighs> okay, look, I've used those little scissors before. They do not cut through zip ties. Not that easily. <sighs> oh, okay. I just beat him. I could have done worse. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. <sighs> yeah, okay. Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! They just shut the door like open it. Hey. Look, okay. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. Dipstick. Hey. 
Dollars to donuts, it'll be Fliss and Julia breaking heads. Not the other way around. What does that mean? I've never heard Fliss anybody say dollars to donuts. getting buddy-buddy with him. Are you being polite to our unexpected guests? Oh, yeah. We had biscuits and tea. That so All right. Turn around. So accusatory, like... Alex is Don't just pissing everybody. Hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. You just okay. beat on the They're door. Coming. to wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Eh. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Caught okay. watching a movie. Just Stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. I always fail this though. Watch, like, I'm terrible. One, two, three, five, six. I hit the button. this little bitch trying to escape. Conrad! Bring them downstairs. Why'd you get caught, bro? Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. Because that's all you, five of them. Right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Wow. Olsen! Come here! Super interesting. It's been a long time since I've played with all five captured. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Are 
they're all dressed now. It's a welcome change. Best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. Hey, come on. Right. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says, shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Oh, oh, oh no! I turned on the thing where I could stop it. Six I'm two. still oh, missing yeah. the buttons. Oh my god. You. I totally Come forgot I had that option hey, on. Leave her alone. I suck at this game. All right, we're not gonna mess up any more things. No. And talking to you. Come on, bro. Why not? Just please take the gun off of us. It's making everybody nervous. And nervous people do stupid things. You don't want blood on your hands, do you? And what do you want? Keep bothering him. Listen. I know things just got out of hand for you guys. We're all in the same boat. Literally! I mean, this can't be normal for you either, right? Not looking to hurt nobody. Just need money. But now, my brother's got his eyes on that gold. They're brothers? I've never gotten that line. Nope. And talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's still alive. Things could have For been now. quite different. <sighs> He's so uptight. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Kind-hearted. Tempted? Brain decisions, man. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. No. We'll learn soon enough. 
Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But like here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. It's so random. The expressions are so good at this, though. I will give them that. Like, when they want to capture a specific expression, they're really on point with it. La porte! La porte! La porte. Junior, you retire la tête à l'image. I really didn't think that they were brothers. I thought they were like father and son, or like uncle and nephew are like cousins or some bullshit. Let's climb barefoot into the rusted boat. Let me stress, barefoot into the ru rusty What the hell is wrong with me? Tetanus laden boat. Got it here. He hey. does that. And you don't get to look at it. Something about this place. At all. So you don't catch the secret. Jump out of my neck. But you can't look at it if you have Brad with you. He has to not be captured with y'all. Because then he comes back through later and looks at it. So if you don't have him with Keep you moving. at this point, leave that thing alone. place at all mask of madness if you dare to look death or do you dare to look death in the eyes now showing There's something, there's something that you can do. It's kind of funny. I think it just gives you this stir. Stay back! <gasps> no matter how many times you do it, just... Move! What are they gonna do with us? Oh, man. What was that? Oh shit! Oh shit! 
The fucking audio, man! It gets you! Just out of nowhere. Creepy rising What's audio. What's that? You're about to see! Okay, all of you. Into the room. Into the room. Hey! It's pitch black in here! Give us a light! Here's the light. She just happens to have a lighter on her. What the hell is this fucking place? Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. Wow. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. I like how that ship just sits there. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. I know, man, but... I don't know if I got much in me. They knocked me around pretty good. We'll get you out of here, Conrad. Don't worry. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire or something? No. You can't hotwire it. We need the distributor cap. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. So there's a couple things in this room. I mean, none of them are huge significance. I wonder what happened. Okay, hold on. Let me let me look up. Okay, there's a way to look up, and you can see the dog. I just, I, for some reason, not let me do it. So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure, was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these Miss J. Uh, Rivera. extras? Yes. In Kentucky. 750 a.m. Extra time. 350 an hour. <laughs> Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. That's new. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I Hi, now. baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave. But jumping into your arms. Three months. Been on some shore leave. The guys had a few beers. But don't worry. Keeping everything ready for you. If you catch my drift. Cringe! This worker helped the boss who's sleeping you alone. You take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. Yeah. This guy Miller was really freaked out. I think while I'm guarding the cargo holds, it's dark and spooky down here. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep you safe, too. Okay. I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Two children. Two children. It's an American dream. I'm gonna try this picture again. Like, there is a way to look up, and I want, I want to see the puppy. We need some happiness. Wonky controls, man. Go. Go up. Okay. Just look it up a little bit. Oh wait. Nope. Okay, fine. Maybe it's just certain people look up. I don't know. The dialogue's kind of funny here. Je vais aller explorer la salle des machines. Danny, tu fouilles les soutes. Les soutes? T'es sérieux? T'as vu l'endroit? Ça tombe en ruine, Olson. Falling apart. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que, fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Va te faire foutre. Quoi? Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Julia. 
So we both just learned some curse words in French. Prisonnier? On est en prison? Charmant. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire. This surprises me. They sit here and listen to this, and nobody ever picks up on it. Cet endroit est bizarre. Plus is the only one who speaks any French because she's there. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce rafiot de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers. Ça va trop loin tout ça. Vos gueules. Fermez là tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. Of course, it's being translated for us, not for them. They're just listening to a bunch of chipper jabber. Oh, we were already here. I thought I was closer for some reason. So there's some things around here that are kind of just like pointless. It's like this is creeping me out. Like, why are you even here? I really don't want to know what these guys are gonna do with us. Just keep your eyes peeled for a way out of here. to go over there, so I'm not 100% on that. Oh, give me the newspaper. I wonder why it's abandoned. Gangland killing of 1947. Archaeologist missing in Iraq. Five cents per paper. crew were really wigged out by the cargo. Wigged out? But what? Well, the guy Miller who wrote it says he saw figures roaming around. Figures? Ooh, spooky. Like ghosts? He said he thought the rest of the guys were just trying to scare him. Well, what the hell was actually going on? I mean, there's definitely something creepy about this place. This letter is just, just proof that someone else felt it too. Something just feels wrong about this whole ship. No kidding. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Plan? <coughs> These guys do not seem like the planning type. I heard them say something about robbing the Duke, that this whole thing was just supposed to be a robbery, but once they heard about the gold, they went and got in over their heads. Worrying's not gonna help. We gotta figure out how to get out of here. So, what do we do? Escape is our only option. Kidnappings rarely end well, even if they think there's a ransom. Hate to break it to you, but I'm not a rich girl, so it's not like they have much ransom for me. Yeah, Brad and me neither. Okay, well we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. I'll take a look around. Like everybody else just standing still. Like, okay, there we go. Hey, it's a vent. Take a look. Why would that be blocking the vent, first off? That's kind of there for a reason. Come on. Fuck. Give me a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get it all. Mm -hmm. Cat. Get it off. Well, there's nothing else to do around here. Because I picked up everything. Because of course I did. What is that? Seriously. Look at that. Is that just like a crack in the in the metal? Is that like Come take a look? I really don't know what that is. How's it looking? I can't get it open. Come here.
I think all in Texas. Quick busted open. Freedom. At this event. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vet like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? I got this. No, I got this. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Absolutely. How heavy is that table? goes fast. Stop! He just stops there. I don't think I've ever been through now. with all five. with the demo place. Oh Come God. on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Okay. Most of these rooms are just BS. All ship personnel, extra guard duty regulations. Da, 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 da. Double guard duty on all doors and all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Guard personnel, pop right under these regulations, will be met with the sternest of parliament, up to include a court martial by order of Captain Four. Nobody is allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. 3A. Secrets in here, just a jump scare. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Why did that door move like that? Out of bounds. Cargo hold two. Okay. I don't remember that, but okay.
bathrooms. I remember the bathrooms. Mm-hmm. Yep. Eileen Reed, dear Isles, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the surface, and I'll be back to you and the girls. Can't wait to tell to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They gotta see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep you going. They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read. I don't like them reading our letters. I know. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now the war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a piece can what a place, sorry, can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some promotion outside that usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon. I wonder what happened to him. Don't remember that either. I would be the white girl. There was one of these doors that I thought opened. Apparently not. Maybe it's just for the other player. Hello. Wonky ass controls. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. Glad to hear you, Hoover, guys. I'm so freaked out. It's okay. I'll protect you. Okay. a lot of people who are suspiciously nowhere to be found. I wonder where everyone went. I mean that. Okay. Yep. Little rat skull. Uh, controls? Why are you being wonky and creepy right now? There's a tall skipper that has KO'd the booze from this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There's a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right after we sailed, but Ferris nipped it in the bud real quick and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with the fellow who helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. But he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you get if you were in any old grunt. Got me thinking, what could be in those boxes? Booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Gross. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted. Meeting up later down at six. Check it out. Those. Those seem backwards. Alright. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in there to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sink me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. It's all off. The guy who was going to help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he's some kind of a flake, which might be true, but Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Perez said that the boys made more hooch. Too bummed to sneak out and try some, but what else is there to do? 
News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listening to any damn fool idea from Perez ever again. Last night I was on duty with Wallowitz. Wallowitz? Wallowix? Wallowix? And goddamn if he didn't creep me out. He got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckoned that Jones and his crew are the ones in the boxes traveling home just like us apps. I seemed to look in Jesus. There it was, just like the guy on the port had said. All laid out real nice, old glory over each one. If it's Jones in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. He'd make sure we all come. And that's it. There's a picture. Come on, controls. Oh, snap. Alright. Let's take a look see. Let's see if we missed anything over here. Like nothing. Oh my god! Why are you there? Walk straight into you. moving it. That makes sense. Okay. Big huge boat. Let's just set that cap that's really, really important for Look. people getting away. It's the distributor cap from the Duke. Just set it down you wherever. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, Now he has a sledgehammer. I'm gonna go get it. Wait, are you crazy? He could be coming right back. Well, sorry, sweetie, but that cap is mine. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. 
ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. different. Not totally, but a couple little things. A rat. Ugh. And nobody me? Now why would I tell you? It's wearing shoes. You got rats, you got rust, you got tetanus, you got dead bodies. That's gotta be full of bacteria. And nobody's wearing shoes. Come on. So mean. Tell me where we are going, damn it! I think somebody. Okay, so I take it back. One person off that boat is wearing shoes, but still. You would think more people would have been like, hmm, I should probably get some shoes on. Unless they just didn't pack any, which is kind of weird too. Damn it. Ready for what? Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Cram it and keep moving. Look at them! Look at what they're walking in! Look at that watch. Just ew. You know that shit's gotta be old and nasty. Gross ass tetanus water. Stop. Okay. I don't know about you people, but beaches in Mississippi close by here have these like flesh eating bacteria warnings in their water. And um, this just seems unsanitary and gross. the one where I've never gotten one where they all die. I've tried. These fucking places cursed. These places cursed. That's from a movie. I can't remember what it was. Mm. Look at this. Alright, so it's part of the name. Bearing updated. What was that noise? What noise? Uh -oh. Olsen! I think he's blown out of use. Huh? That scared the shit out of me. I did not remember that. <laughs> so I don't want to say been too here much. Before? Jesus! Oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, it's such a weird you die thing on the ship, say. your ghost stays on the ship. Why would you say that? Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Look, he's shiny! God. What do you think happened to this guy? Face looking like that. I don't know. Looks like nothing I've ever seen. Ugh. I don't know what the fuck this is all about. But we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. This dude's like, now. I'm on your side now. We gotta get out of here. Screaming. Olsen? Merde. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? So, so far, we've learned three curse words in French. What? 
the fuck was that? Thank you very much. I do not want to go this way. I'm trying to remember if he lets you see this. No. Okay, you gotta come back for it. But that is one of the pictures. Quit pushing me. Uh, it's dead end, my dude. C'est quoi ce bordel? just happened I don't know See, I don't want to give it away thanks for your flashlight hey what come on we should keep moving and let me see ah there's the picture Gotta come back for it, man. What? Creepy person in a hood. See, it kind of looks like the hoods that the people were wearing, like Olsen and them, when they got on the boat. Button? What? Button? I have to press things? I'm watching a movie, man. Where's my popcorn? It really is more of an experience than a we game. We need to find a way up on deck. Ooh, okay. I never do this, but I'm gonna do it just for y'all. Duty hold 3A where we're not supposed to go. Okay, okay. Oh, duty officer Carter Watts. Read, read, Miller, Miller, Davis, Davis, Perez, Perez, Griffin, Griffin, Patterson, crossed out, O'Neill, O'Neill. Strictly no unauthorized entry to the guarded areas. Do not leave post until you are relieved by oncoming watch stander. So, I haven't... What? Okay! Just gonna go this way. Um, so I haven't found everything in my playthroughs. So, I'm curious... What I've missed. I found a good bit. I think I found the majority of it. But... Not everything. Come on. Hmm. Whoops. So, I forgot that the knife was there. 
And generally, I don't pick up weapons on my playthroughs. So, whoops. I think you're supposed to pick that one Jesus. up, though. Jesus. What happened down here? beginning. It's so dark in here. Oh, God damn it! Um, oh, fuck. I don't remember the keys. Okay. I got this. Nah, we're gonna miss the button press again. my gosh. Okay. Oh. I've never had that option to save Brad or save myself. What was that? Uh, you hear that? Maybe that was your really iceberg. Not funny. Nothing up through here. What are you looking back for, bro? Stop it! What is with this place? I'm telling you, we hit an iceberg, we're going down. Shut up, Conrad. Like... Okay, can't go over there. Can we go over here? No? Okay. So, I'm so glad, like, that you can play this and still get creeped out by it, even knowing Wait what's gonna go on. We've been here before. It's really nice. Uh, I don't think so. Mm, no, we not I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? No. Come on, guys, we gotta keep moving. You know what? Yeah. Let's do hey, it. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. Big brain plays. We might have to use it. Big brain choices. I'm still gonna try to stick to that even though I messed it up. I just, I wanna see how it plans out. Mm, 
Hey, beef casserole. According to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. Greens. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Cereal. Hashed brown potatoes. Corn beef. Cornbread. Creamed whipped beef on cornbread for breakfast. There's navy baked beans with salt pork for breakfast? Okay. I like how they can read all that through the crossouts. Okay. I don't remember that. I don't remember that happening. I do remember this. Open it, you coward. Jesus. God. Alex? What is it? Come look. <laughs> uh, see for yourself. If I had to see it, oh. you gotta see it. That's what it's about, right? Come back. Where are you going? Come back, babe. Come back. <laughs> she just like runs off. Like you're gross. What is that? Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Please, wow. relax. Just the messing bed. around. Gross. Just messing around on the death ship. Yeah. All right, now what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. Oh, another picture. Shiny picture. Come here, come here. Let's see what this is. Oh, snap! Brad got stabbed! Wait. This isn't right. What's not right? What? Oh my what? god. There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? I mean, besides you screaming? All right, well, we should keep moving. I, the I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Julia, just try to get a grip. Don't fucking laugh at me. Okay. We've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be this way. Yeah, I don't remember. Coming. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Oh, yay. Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, ghosts? There, there are ghosts now? Well, no. There's no such <laughs> thing as... Well, you know that, and I know that, but do the ghosts know that? What? <laughs> what? Listen. Sure, it's freaky, and it's disgusting, and it's a little depraved, but they are just a bunch of dead bodies, and I'm sure they are going to stay dead. Are you? Are you sure? What is this? One hundred percent sure about that. Yes, let's look inside. Do it. Move. Come on. Double bodies. Look at this. It's insane. Is it even human? I mean, was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Well, that's weird. This dialogue, man. Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. She goes from freaking out to, okay, it's all cool. It's all cool. What is happening here? Just... Okay. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes. Maybe that's little baby Dracula. 
right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. God. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. That's one that's locked up like that. The other one slid off pretty freaking easy there, didn't it? Oh. What's the matter? I'm gonna do it for the shiny, but I hate this part. Rat what is it? Look! What? Seriously? Every time! Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Every time! Can we just get out of here? This is why I don't play horror games, guys. I freak out too easy. Oh, but this one's so good. Except for the dialogue, some of it's pretty cringy. <laughs> Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get to this. If no the problems. shift button made me move any faster, you are in the way, woman. What the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Uh, oh. Why so spick and span? Let's go see. Um, I don't think there's anything over here. Nope, nothing. Moving on. What? Fuck! <laughs> it says that. No Alex. time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Wait. Okay. Wait. This is my favorite option in the game, though. Why would you poke it? Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? <laughs> Why would you poke it? <laughs> oh, best option in the game, hands down. Oh, let's see. Can I go that way? Nope. Oh, wait. Okay, but this is the worst room in Where the, the game. Where the hell is Conrad? Conrad? It just zooms Maybe in. Maybe just get him some air. Conrad! Go look at this dude. Oh, nope, nope. Wonky controls, come here. There you go. Just look at him. All torn open. Like, how horrible is that? You go to sleep for a surgery. And then your doctor dies screaming over here. And apparently... What the hell? You Looks die. Like he died of fright. On the table. You can't see that. So yeah, your doctor's freaking out. And somehow was still able to record okay, that so you had a heart attack. This guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. <laughs> that is the second time they've said hashtag. Remember who has the sledgehammer? We remember who picks that up. What? Oh yeah, she is this. It throws me off when they switch back and forth. It takes me a minute to remember where they were. What a lovely ballroom. Are we having a party? Let's see who the guests are. Hmm. Wait, what? That's new. I remember there being something this place in there. Is not right. 
I distinctly remember there being something in there. Huh? Oops, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Pick that back up. Pick that. No, no, no. Huh? Trolls, man. I just want to. Ugh, God. Why does this keep happening? Thank you. Cable should silently assemble and no more than or fewer than five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three female and two male firstborn faces obscured with hood. Sigils know it is important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being flock that before the festival of Akramahamari. Akramahamari. Okay. okay. And ritual of Threskaya is performed to went away demons by means of the ball. Pentacle shall be drawn out, and each member shall stand at each of the five primary points. A lady born of the sea shall be rendered unconscious and placed at the center of the pentacle. Oh my god. It's from there that the assembled should recite the incantation of swords, sword in hand, with all exaltation possible, as is written, we five stand at the firmest point. We are like close enough to touch the five starred great power turn 90 degrees to you just, just okay so it's kind of obscured here but it's basically describing a ritual uh sword pentacle of sacrifice page 34 each member takes a step inwards and still the stance okay so it's still describing this this ritual skull dagger blood tree what body should be transferred to a casket of thick wood with head accessible by your flock at any time as a reminder of the evil that can affect the unwary the power source to keep all safe so what okay the head should be accessible at all times that is not disturbing in the least I think we need to like get through this pretty quick okay but I don't want to go back there yet, because I know what's back there. We want to walk around over here. What is going on here? Check this out. Oh. Oh! Okay. Well, there's your accessible heads. Yep. Blood fountain. Totally normal. Yep. Yep. 100% expected in this decadent ballroom here. Is that it? Oh no, wait, wait. Hold on, I need to stop, go through. Okay. Go around, go play on the piano. That's what we want to do. We're going here, thank you. Come on, get over there. <laughs> uh, I thought that happened much sooner. I was like, it didn't happen, okay. Oh, it sounds so squishy. Did I miss something? It feels like I missed something. I'm not like... Okay, I don't think I have time. Just keep your head on straight. Uh, right there. Hit that. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Nope, 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 nope. In. Thank you. Wonky controls. We are on a time limit here. Why would you be walking around? Oh my god. Okay. Nope. 
you can just stay over there. See, I always just come to the door. Because I know better. That's right. You need to be outside for a moment. Well, at least the thunder and the lightning stopped, huh? And nothing is the same. Ventilation excess. Forward hold. That, that damn wonky control. Okay. I'm gonna take a look-see at this again. Oh look, Manchurian gold. Uh, okay. <laughs> played through this scenario hey, are you sure you know where we're going in a long time fliss uh, fliss hello let's go take a little look see fliss, fliss. where'd you go hi person haven't i desecrated your body already before Oh, why would you reach in and grab it? Okay, standard bullet. Let's just put that right back in there. Forget that we ever did that. Okay, but that door was already a- Great. All these hallways look exactly alike. Wasn't weird. Hey. Fliss, hey. Where were you? Your shirt's a different color. Why is your shirt a different color? How okay, to look. How to get out? It's the exact same hallway. With the exact same dead body. With the exact same bullet hole. Except this time. The bullet says Alex. Huh. That's... weird. No kidding. And we put the bullet right back, slowly stand, and... Walk away. See, the door is already open! Why are we opening it again? That makes no sense! Are you absolutely sure? Shut up and keep moving. Yeah. Hello? Just keep on moving. I'm trying, bro. Wonky controls, oh, man. It won't let me move. Okay. Uh, go to the dead person. And that guy looks familiar. What's the matter, bro? You don't want to look at it? So I have tried doing this without looking. Kind of different. <laughs> <laughs> 
drums in the background there. Who's that? Who's there? Get away! That might have been Julia, though. Because she was screaming up a storm in the cafeteria. Okay, so there are things over here, but... Well, okay. We'll just go. Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? Skeletons? I'm with you, bro. Skeletons? Where's the skin, guys? Some sort of altercation. to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages of the following types and no response. 0110, 0120, 130, 40, 50. We were able to pick up indirect messaging traffic until once in 40 hours. However, there's been no further incoming message traffic since the time. Possible our radio equipment is faulty. Expect to be able to report to you at 300 hours. Okay, see, I only get to see one side of this, so... Click on the freaking... Jesus. You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. I agree. We should leave. Okay, so there's a wrench down here, but I don't want to pick it up. Because... It could be dangerous for my people. And since I don't Alex? know how the curator's version is going, Julia? there is one person I want to keep alive. At least oh, we're all oh, no. At least until we reach the radio. God. Your, your parkour is not good, bro. We did good things. Nobody died. Uh. 
Could have drowned. I'm sorry, but you did the right thing. It was him or us. Fuck! Okay. Wait, he's not moving. <gasps> oh. Okay, that one's moving. Wait, so who was the other one then? It's so confusing. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. oh! Say, I usually don't pick up the knife. Okay, she ran. Yeah. You know, you get my drift? So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys, I'm with you. Conrad! God, it was terrifying. Conrad! Hey, it's me! Conrad! What the fuck was that? Hey! Where's he going? Okay, so usually, yeah, you play Conrad's side of this. Okay! You're in creepy ass door? Whatever the hell is going on with me can't be good. Yeah, it's the same song from the beginning. Water purification. Huh. Headed to San Francisco? Manchuria. Contents, items, Manchuria, go, quality, unknown, weight, unknown, value, classified. Inspector regarded as safe for transportation. Items are not contraband and are legally allowed to enter the destination country. All items will be correctly stowed and labeled in accordance with the ship missiles and safety regulation noted in the cargo missiles for shipping missile in accordance with international cargo law. Okay. Get to him. 
Holy shit. Oh man, that's great. Let's just scare the piss out of him the whole time. So I've never gotten to play this. Are you gonna just keep trying that? I just can't open this thing by myself. Just waiting for something to pop up behind me. I have no idea what's gonna happen, guys. I've never played this this part before. I've never played this area. I've I've never been fliss in this area. This is exciting. I'm on edge. God, these house of incident. Seems like required to possibly twelve thirty was formed by private press that private boy has been seen in possession of a restricted object. Maybe show me a cloth bag filled with a set of decorated bake light tiles. This will look weird while our ship had been docked. I'm not sure if we're private later. We'd have to confiscate them. Miller Potosi has given me a story about their sentimental significance. Claimed it would be bad luck if you lost them. I'm right there with you guys. It sounded like superstitious nonsense to me, but I felt a little sorry for him. Placated him by explaining that I sympathized with him. Just keep a photograph of our children in my office. Nevertheless, I made the confiscation and explained to Pirate Miller that personal items should be kept for when he is off duty. That's new. That's something that I've never done. Oh, you mother! Water. I have never seen these after the beginning. Guys, that's it's kind of interesting. I'm like looking for pictures. There's a picture that I'm missing. I'm still waiting for something to pop out at me. Like, I know this isn't Resident Evil, but man, it like, I have that feeling that someone's just gonna rah at me. To a police report. What's that? Listen to that. Sergeant John Ferris, violent behavior. Private Wagner, private first class brand. Time of offense, so 105. God, one in the morning, really, guys? Alcohol and drugs. Enlisted mess deck. Details of incident. I was alerted by kitchen staff to investigate rowdy behavior on the mess deck at approximately 105. I arrived at the mess a moment later and found an excited crowd cheering and goading two men in the center. I dispersed the crowd and made my way through to investigate a person in the center of the crowd. I found Private First Class Brand laying on the ground, blood on his face and clothing, and Private Wagner standing over him with bloody fists. As I approached the two men, Wagner turned towards me and attempted to attack myself and Brand. Some members of the crowd assisted me in restraining Wagner and arrested him at the scene. He is currently in the custody of Sergeant Wood. Neither party has prior offenses. Neither party appeared to have consumed any alcohol. Witnesses at the scene stated that the two parties are friends, and this behavior is very uncharacteristic. This report has been kept brief, as I have been called to investigate more violent behavior elsewhere on board at 1.30. A full investigation will be carried out in due course. Interesting. New information has come to light. Not the door that I just came out of. Nope. Okay. Oh, there's something. Oh. Another sheet of paper. Okay. Walt, it's your turn to have dinner with William tonight. I feel for him. Last night he got drunk again and just kept talking about his wife. Poor sod. He's taking it all on himself. It's difficult, but I think he needs his senior officers around him right now. Okay for 8 p.m. Regards, Tom. There's nothing on the back? Okay. I'm waiting for the the freaking pop out. I know it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And they got that suspenseful music there for a reason. Why are you not going through the door? Go through the door. Must be the captain and his wife. Okay, captain and his wife. Old moldy books. Nice attention to detail there. Um, any 
anything else in here? A safe. That does not open. Okay. There has to be a key around here somewhere. Oh my god, we're gonna go find the key. Bye, Conrad! I'm waiting for it. It's gonna happen. Okay. Ah, ah hello. Do you open the safe? Jesus Christ! Conrad, it's me. Oh, 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 it's me. It's Fliss. It's okay. Okay. Um, don't die. I saw the dude. I saw the dude. Did I see him? I think I saw him. Wait, come back! We gotta open the safe! No! Oh, no. Shit! Okay, D. Hold on. Not gonna mess it up. Not gonna mess it up. Not gonna mess it up. decision here. Oh. 
God damn, you scared the hell out of me. I, uh... Ooh, wow, that was intense. <laughs> That's one way to put it. We got a better way. Aww. Adorable. I haven't seen the curator in a while. <gasps> Hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? No. Not at all. <sighs> okay. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. No kidding. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Mm, big brain place. Big brain place. No hint. Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Good luck with that. Wow. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. Ta -da. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Sure. Go on, back to it. Speak soon. Sure. All right. What the hell was wrong with you back there? What? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on. No, no come on. That's ridiculous. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I got to be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. 
Interesting. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, and they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy and like dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just like up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Yeah. It's probably just your mind's way of telling you that I'm smothering you or something. <laughs> of course you don't believe me. You never do. Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? This is the most insane thing I've ever asked, but Big brain are we on a ghost ship? Seems like it. So according Dog. to this letter I found, the guards here were absolutely terrified of something on the ship. Anyone figure out what happened to all the sailors? Did they catch a rescue boat or something? Good God, everything about this ship just screams tomb. So what's with the bodies? They come with the ship? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. That gold should be around here, right? Anybody catch a glimpse of it? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical, and it's leaking all over cargo hold, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting, either. There it is, guys. This should go over well. There's your chemical. Uh, well, they're both heart decisions, so... What do you think actually happened on this ship? The ship is bound for San Francisco, but it hailed from a water purification plant in China. Apparently that's where it picked up the Manchurian gold. It looked like the newspaper was from 1947. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. Uh-oh. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Blink, blink, blink. 80 years later, it's still blinking and working. Oh, that makes sense. Alrighty. Where can I... Oh, we can't go anywhere. That's right. We gotta go through this door. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Here's that dialogue again. There's that cringy, awkward dialogue. I know it's kind of crazy, but I wonder if the plane from the dive could have been shot down by this ship. God, they take forever to walk anywhere. On that note, though, as long as they're outside, there's no creepy hallucinations, so. Well, these are ruined. Can't use them. Alright, let's see. There's nothing over here. like a gas mask instruction manual over here for absolutely no reason because find a way up you can't get the gas mask sadly no right but now. I'll keep my eyes open I've yet to figure out why this is here oops come on now hello dead person gas mask instructions Always make sure your mask is fitted, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, hold on. Did that have a back to it? Blah, blah, blah. 
Oh, oh wonderful. Ah. Instructions on how to use a gas mask. No mention of disintegration. Mention of disintegration. Okay. And there's nothing over here. Can't even go that way. This is the most random place to put, like, gas mask instructions. Like, it makes no sense. I think this is our way up. You think? Give me a lift. <sighs> Gotta mm. readjust here. I'll pull you up. nothing out here down or up it's just go into the door so we're not gonna go looking for that this is this is where I chased Conrad before huh I, I thought it looked familiar wait I have the key do I still have the key Come here. If I still have the key, maybe I can Here's go open that true. safe. Here's a way through. Oh my god. Feels unnecessary. Okay, there's a log book that I need to read in order to get the ending that I want. Because I've decided on the ending that I want. The last entry, according to this, they ran into one hell of a storm. Scissoring Madon. Five minutes and fog continues. That's it. like three doors that you can't open in the theatrical cut but maybe in this one you can hello dead body just hanging out there hello game there's a picture here hi oh god why does this keep happening No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Can't go through that door either. Okay. Had to check. I really wanted to know what was in that safe, man. I don't 
don't even know if there's a way to open it, but... Come on, come on. It's shiny. Up there. I saw it. There it is. Oh my god. These controls make no sense why. I'm like... Looking right at you. <sighs> Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out Actual in the ocean? Route. Oh wait, okay, so the red is the actual I never looked at this before. The red is the actual This is the planned. Huh. Interesting. Oh, wait, wait, no, I don't want to go in here yet. Blown off course, bad cloud cover, but they couldn't get a read on their bearings. Port of hole too flooded. Hmm. Ooh, search for crew member overboard commenced. Search called off. Interesting. Okay, now we can come in here. Oh, dear God. He died trying to get an SOS out. Midi called broadcast radio contact intermittent attempted Morse SOS. Midi crew dead. This must have been horrible. And you are not wearing shoes. Oh my god. Everybody saw your feet. Hey! Here! I love how this is like still transmitting 80 no years later. No freaking way! I'm this thing you. actually still works? I'm with you. Alright. There goes nothing. Uh, good old shortwave radio. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. All right, here we go. Come in, please. Do you read us? Over. Bang updated. Over. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. At least there's someone listening. Uh, the signal's in and out though. Uh. If you can hear me, we're on board an abandoned freighter. 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 one degrees, right. 20 minutes west. Over. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. There we go. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, I believe the name of the vessel is the Uraimidan. Over. Yep, I say it wrong all the time. Name of this come in, vessel. Over. Come in, come in, there please, we go. anyone. That's what I want. Come in, over. It. Come on. I've never made it this Yo, far. Yo, guys, five. check it out. Hey, look at this. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Are you kidding me? You? Come on. You're so mean. Sounds like you're scared of someone stepping out of your shadow. Scared of my idiot brother getting himself killed? How about showing me some brotherly love? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. That I'm coming too. Sad. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Wow. <laughs> still the captain's I'm still going. the captain. <laughs> Everybody's going. And the captain's telling you that I'm going too. All right, Fliss. Ready? Very <laughs> updated. <laughs> That is 
is not a good start. Curator's been pretty silent lately. Are you still alive? Where you at, buddy? Everyone okay? We're okay. Not hurt like hell, man. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna find the generator so we can power the radio. I'm going to speak very slowly Wait, so that you radio. understand it. <laughs> hey. Yeah, isn't that lucky? Here's another lantern. This way. I guess you need to the lower levels of the ship. Let's go take a look see. I don't think there's any like real secrets in here, but there's stuff that you can read. Uh, okay, oh this was the the room that the guy was in in the beginning. Got someone named Joe in sick bay. So we've already read all that. This is a break ten days thing. So there was a fight with a guy named Charlie. It must have been pretty serious if it earned him ten days in the brig. They weren't even fighting. <laughs> that safe's open. Meeting of minutes between Sergeant X, Mr. Bishop, Tom Palmer was Sergeant Peter Wood observing and in X for meeting with our team since we can mutually learn from the same thing. The Western world must be protected from. It's been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents of warfare. Our acts limited by the Geneva Protocol of experience. We are unable to effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure literature is called named Manchurian Gold. Sugar significant hallucinations. Seeing subjects seeing and hearing things that were really not there even danger was manifold mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we knew that already so how's school going good what why are you asking me about school no i didn't really go to school so you seem pretty sharp to me thanks <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, this is sick bay. This is what we didn't get to see in this, the beginning Jesus. of this playthrough. So, that is the corpse that Joe was talking about in the beginning. Oh, wonky controls. Jesus. I guess it could have been the son of someone on board. To Pops, come back soon. That was Joe's son. Oh, hello, Miss something. What is this? John Patterson, private, Texas. It's just a reported. Three years, five months. Mild neurosis. Disability is not the result of his own misconduct. It was occurred in the line of duped. Line of duped. Line of duped. This is prior list, but no. Present condition, fit for service, blah blah. blah duration, temporary. Recommendation that he so be closely kind of monitored and referred back for medical checking in one week. Saw private pass some day to attend a sick bay during the visit. I observed that the severe distress consistent with evidence of panic. I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. Passy has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims the symptoms are very unusual for him. Private Patterson is a fit and healthy young man, 25 years with no medical conditions and an exemplary military career. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting and test for speech reactions, memory, and decision making all appear normal. Clear case of COSR. Alright. 
Alrighty, out we go. Yep. And into this room. Where you are just standing in the corner creepily. Uh, wires hanging menacingly. Alright, let's go. Um, I think I go this way. Yeah, drive down. Okay. Now see this. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. That's gotta be where the generator is. You're right. Let's go down there. I love that, like, revelation. <gasps> the ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Hey! And you broke Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. That looks like it hurt, man. <gasps> you should have hurt your ankles. Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so okay. follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, mm -hmm. but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. Mm -hmm. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. Uh -huh. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We knew they were scared of something. Weird stuff freaking everybody out. The officers, they thought it was just jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. Yeah. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. What is that? Could this have anything to do with dun, the dun, wrecked dun. plane from the dive? Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal. We know this. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage, and for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw. Dun, wow. Dun, dun. Okay, let's keep going. Alright. Let's roll. So, my ending is pretty much set in stone now. I don't know what the point of that is. We're gonna click this generator back on. I think it's back this way. What do you think these guys are all about? By the way, Fishing? now that... Yeah. Oh, money. I feel like they're just in over their heads or something. Now that they've had their revelation, uh, when they're walking through areas where you're gonna have hallucinations, there is mist on the ground. That lovely yellow swirly mist that we're walking through right now. It's here. Yes! This thing still works! There we go. Yeah, this is definitely what we're looking for. No wonder the power keeps cutting out. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. I just got out of here. Alright then. Let's get back upstairs. Seems like that spark should have Gotta find another way up though. Bearing <laughs> updated. Lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over. Please state your situation. Over. Cool. We need help now. There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Location is confirmed. Oh, come on, work, damn it. Okay. Um. So apparently one of the characters will say the name of the ship. I'm not sure how to make that happen. But she said it earlier, so that should have gotten me the ending that I'm going for. Ha! Huh, look at this! Oh hey, it's the rebreather. Okay, this part's the fisherman was buttered over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. Take yeah, it. Yeah, we should take it. Half this damn ship is flooded. We might need it. Okay, 
so you take it, and then you don't fail any of this. That he was just a Okay, is he dead? He claimed we killed him earlier. Here's the distributor cap. But we're not gonna need that, guys. Bodies, the underground mistreatment of hostile hands, remains a toxic cast that should not be open. This should be done only by authorized personnel. Oh shit! Oh shit! Changing. Stay away! 
Stay back from the mist! Dude, what mist? Don't breathe it. Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's okay. life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. Okay. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Oh, no. You need to slow down. Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Okay. Put the gun down now! Why would you say that? Okay, that's right. Why are you telling me what to do? It yeah, you breathed in the mist! Started. It's happening. Okay, let's see what he says. I can feel it! Is Come on, man. There is no, no mist. You son of a bitch! <gasps> Bro, I did everything right. <laughs> Except I failed that. No, Keep no. thing. I hit him for 30. Fine! First death. Almost everybody has a death there. Almost everybody. Because they fail that keep calm spot. Or they don't bring the rebreather. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna go check the next level and see if I can find any more gear. Alex, please don't leave. I'm not gonna be long. Just wait by the radio. I'm gonna hang back here as well. All right. Do you like, do you like Rick and Morty? Someone needs to keep listening. Got it. Why would you call her down there? There's a maniac uh, with I a saw the, 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 the big guy. He had the distributor camera. We gotta go after him. Hello, silhouette in the background. I saw you. Yeah, sure did. So by this point, y'all got y'all have seen me point out that there's a silhouette standing around. That's Either you know you see a silhouette or you see actually the curator, and that's points where it is possible that somebody can die. Absolutely. Um, Over here. What'd you say? Was Why are you so loud? What? This must have been what we just heard. Race cross. Race cross. Say shoot me. Whoa. What was that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. He got shot in the bud. Holy crap! <laughs> Look at that shit! <laughs> Wait, the magic see. Don't We're early rotate. Different. Don't early rotate. Wait, no, move. Oh, I can't. Okay. So I can't yeah, do anything from there. Alright. There he is. Think we can get across? Sure. Say so. Oh. oh, boy. There's something here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> him. The... Hello, Mist. Oh! 
right, so dude just like had a heart I can't attack. Make the jump, Alex. I'll find a way around. From being scared. Could have just gone that way the whole time. We're outside, fresh air, no hallucinations. Walk faster, woman. Hey guys. I need to see if there's anything over here besides, you know, the dead body on the floor. Ugh. I wouldn't want to walk past that either, woman. Look at Community. I claim my rights under the position of rights of sovereignty Long as a foreign legal person. Diplomatic meaning all prosecution for law as subscribed to process. I agree that in return for the above surety, I will reveal knowledge gained from my employment at the water purification plant, and in good faith I will not hold back information when question. I name redacted, declare this page, and legal work to be factual and true. I have not seen that before. Anything else that I can pick up around here? Oh, open safe. Let's see that. Manifest of personal effects, consignment. Upon examination of the caskets, I did remove personal effects and tags on the head of delivery to authorities. List of items removed as follows two off photo, one off receipt, uh, a pair of spectacles, coin, quarter dollar, pack of playing cards, pen, dog tag, Brian Carter, dog tag, Marvin Cox, dog tag, Jack Hawkins. Dog tag James Jones, dog tag Harold Stone. I declare that this record is accurate and true in accordance with US Army protocols. Baker. Okay. That's new. Never seen that before. I need to die first, like in the theater. Something over here. Poster MV Stunning, Department of Physics. State University to journal and the rather yeah. prickly subject of Manchurian gold and how it could potentially be utilized in warfare. I so recognize your urgency. Geopolitics moves with the times, and the situation could again become grave. The Western world defeated the Nazi invasion, but there are others just like Mr. Hitler <coughs> waiting in the wings. It is my expert view that Manchurian gold is a true asset to our nation. It is something that we possess, yet our enemies and potential enemies do not. It is highly transportable and very powerful, and we have witnessed its effect. Delivery of Manchurian gold to the target is the tricky part. We would not want to risk it being deployed anywhere near our own troops. In this sense, it is ideal as a weapon, as it can be delivered with pinpoint accuracy. It would undoubtedly be most effective in areas of dense enemy infantry, such as trenches and bunkhouses. These are my early views. Take them as you will. I look forward to meeting up with you in the near future to discuss more. Nothing... I hate how their walking sound sounds like straight up scuffling. Oh. My bad. Very updated. Oh, that's what breaks that. Did it break? down, Alex. Just, just stay calm, okay? What, whatever you do, don't panic. I assume that's the correct choice. Oh shit! That is 
not the correct choice. She was gonna die anyway because she had the bends, so not too worried about her. That's what you say? Oh, oh. And you don't get more. Makes sense. That's that's it's it's a good scene. So that was legit. Never seen that before. It's just getting interesting now. Loading, loading. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. So that was the end. So let's see what happens. I don't think I'm getting the ending that I wanted because he has a distributor cat. And I didn't want it. But that's okay. Too crowd. I haven't okay. had all the men survive either. Like just the men. All on it. Yep, there's the distributor cap. They're getting off the boat. Man. Okay. I guess it's time to see if it's working. Distributor cap. I didn't have a choice on that though. I guess you could say I lived my greatest nightmare. I was relentlessly stalked by a beautiful woman, and all I wanted to do was run the hell away. I mean, hey, I'm no prude. The lady's down, then who might have be picky, but this one. Up close, she was um she's not exactly getting the motor running. You know what I mean? You wow. might even say she could melt the rubber off your tires. And not in a good way. I can't process. I just can't. I'm still not sure it's real. She was just here. I love her. He was a fucking asshole. He was coming after me. He, he was attacking me. How was I supposed to know? How the hell was I supposed to know it was Julia? about Fliss. Dang. See, this, this is nice. It gives you a recap of who died where and what they look like after you left them behind. Ta-da! So it was one ending of like 14.
That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. Yeah. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Not a bad effort. Some lived, some died. Yep. All your fault. Wow. That's true. Though. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. Like her drinking. But she there would have died. are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Where's the res at? Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. It's not creepy. So there's a theory going around that It's supposed to come out it was supposed to be this summer but of course with the pandemic it's been pushed back so it's supposed to come out in fall now hopefully fingers crossed oh what <laughs> Thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. Whoa. What the hell is this? I can't remember if this is how this one goes. it is I'm super excited for Little Hope. It just looks to get to a, you have to go so that. good. So, this one was she more able to be explained, obviously. Um, oh, okay. You know, there was a chemical causing this for them. But Until Dawn did have a supernatural side to it. So, I'm fairly certain that Little Hope will have a, a little supernatural side to it as well. Even if it might not be, like, obvious in the beginning. I, I really think they're going to lean that way with it. Just because of the whole, like, Salem Witch Trials and Witchcraft involved in it. And just how the trailer looked. I really think there's going to be... It's going to be a little more fantasy and out of the realm than 
Man of Medan was. So, good game. Good game. Not the ending we were going for, but good game. See you guys later. Um, when Little Hope comes out, I will definitely make a Little Hope video.